And to us, success is definitely, hopefully, will look like improving tissue growth to allow patients to walk, to run, to uh, conduct their daily activities like they would before they had a bone fracture or a ligament tear or some kind of disease. You know, it's important to note that even though today we have great technology to regenerate bone for hip implants and knee implants, many of those patients never return back to the active lifestyle they had before their accident. So our effort is to use nanotechnology to improve their lifestyle back to where it was before they had an injury. So we think nanotechnology not only has benefits in healing tissue, increasing tissue growth and patient health, but we've also seen recently it has the ability to kill viruses. And this is incredibly beneficial for things like Ebola or even the flu, which we really don't have a cure for, despite many centuries of suffering from the flu. So what we're doing is developing similar nanoparticles that can attach to and really attack these viruses. And once they attach to these viruses, they disrupt their structure, they disrupt their ability to get inside of cells to replicate.